23, 24 seasons before these universal times, let us preach stand for the national anthem.
4-3 is our score. Boy, he's down by one. Inside it goes. It looked like he had stepped out of bounds when he caught it, but Lasley in with his first two points. And it's 6-3. Ave Maria with the lead. Ave Maria getting ready to substitute a wholesale substitute. About five players about to come in. Straightaway three-pointer on the way is no good there for Foster. And Ave Maria will have possession. So here come a whole new five in. For Ave Maria. Amongst those, uh, you have uh, Jack 
Poirier, number three. So Ave Maria not afraid to go deep in the bench early on here with a 6-3 lead. Bounce pass inside. Nice pass, and the cutter is there for Nick Fleischner. Fleischner. So that is his first two points. And it is an 8-3 Ave Maria lead. Here's Foster, and that'll be an offensive foul. So Deshaun Foster is picks up his first. Durante Foster with his first foul. 8-3 is our score. Thanks for joining us here. We have a little wet spot going on. Go ahead, try to clean up the wet spot. Of course, this is the uh, first game at home for the Tigers. The Tigers last year, pretty good at home, but the issue was on the road. There's a bounce pass. Fleischner picks up the ball. Long three-pointer there for White. It is not there. Tigers come away with the rebound. Up the court it goes. And losing the ball temporarily, but Tigers still regain it. Here's Foster inside, and it's good. Durante Foster with his first two. And it's down to an 8-5 Ave Maria lead. Little trap in the corner there. Cleekus. And Cleekus gets his first two. And it's 10-5 Ave Maria on top. Under 15 minutes to go here in the first half. In there, you also have Isaiah Sellers for the first time for the Tigers as Foster unable to hit. Oh, nice. They go inside and Klikas with quick four points off the bench. And Coach Jay Williams calls a timeout. So a timeout here on the court. 12 to 5 is our score. 14 minutes and 25 seconds to go here in the first half. Tigers are down to Ave Maria. And Ave Maria is a nice team who can push the ball up and down the court. And early on, showing their depth on the bench as the coach substituting five players. So Ave Maria can't go 10-11 deep. As right now, we have a timeout on the court. Like to thank all the uh, Tiger fans that came out, especially the student session. As the students on this uh, Saturday afternoon making some noise here at the Dawson Center. And coming out of the timeout, 12 to five is our score. With 14 minutes and 25 seconds remaining before halftime. Entering in the game for the first time, we have Harris in and it's immediately a steal. In the corner, inside it goes, nice pass, throws it up and drawing the foul was Jai White. So, 
White. Jai White, the 6'2", 6'6", freshman out of New Orleans, Louisiana, will be on the line shooting two. To try to extend the Ave Maria lead, which right now stands at 12 to 5. White get his first points of the afternoon. Thirteen five is our score. Voorhees are down. And that next one is no good, but losing his grip on the floor was actually Harris. And that leads to a two points there by Jai White. So quickly it becomes a 10-point Ave Maria lead at 15 to 5 under the 14-minute mark here in the first half. And right now the Tigers just trying to get it together. As Isaiah Sellers falls to the floor. Tigers will remain with possession. Julius Phillips will come in. Foster will come out for the Tigers. And also entering into the game, talented first-year guy, Alonzo Johnson, number zero for the Tigers. Let's see if the Tigers can break into this 10-point lead. Only three seconds left on the shot clock, and we have a traveling violation called against Phillips. So with 13 minutes and 25 seconds remaining in the, the first half, Tigers down 15 to 5. For those of you who are just joining us, as we have a foul against the other white on Ave Maria squad, Jalen White. So you have a Jalen White from out of Philly, and a Jai White out of New Orleans. So let me guess, no relation. Here's the shot inside for White, no good. Ball bounced around, goes out of bounds, and it'll belong to Ave Maria, last touch by the Tigers. With 13 minutes and 10 seconds remaining here in the first half. And they got another whistle. This time they'll call the foul on Alonzo Johnson. That's his first. Team's fourth foul. A bounce pass inside. Cross court pass. And that is good. Nice shot there for Jalen White. And White with his first points of the afternoon. It's 18 to 5 as Phillips unable to hit. So right now the Tigers are gone cold here in mid stages of the first half. And that shot is up and no good for Klikas. Phillips open for three. Good. So Phillips with six points already here in the first half and is down to a 18 to eight lead. And that goes out of bounds. Good defense there by the Tigers forcing a turnover. For the Tigers, Bryce Wilson checks back into the ball game, number five. Here's Harris, number, and here's Alonzo Johnson. Back to Harris. Kind of a zone defense, 2-3 zone defense, as the shot just inside three-point line is no good there for Wilson. Here comes Ave Maria. Efforts gives it off to Watkins.
Let's see if the Tigers can play some good defense. And right there, it looks like they'll call the foul against Phillips. So that would be Julius Phillips' first foul. Team's fifth. And we have a timeout on the court. Full timeout. 11 minutes and 37 seconds to go here in the first half. 18-8 to eight is our score. Voorhees down to Ave Maria. And you're watching Tiger Basketball right here on our YouTube page and also Facebook Live. Thank you so very much uh, for tuning in. And, of course, if you want to get on the uh, chat, you can. Let us know where you're watching the game from. If you're pulling for the Tigers or you're pulling for Ave Maria, let me know. Once again, thank you so very much for tuning in to Tiger Basketball. This is our first broadcast of the 2023-2024 season. Of course, the big homecoming doubleheader coming up on November 11th. It's speed about homecoming. Get your tickets right now. You can log on to boyhees.edu and check out all the events. And you can uh, pay online. Some of the big events that's coming up at the Homecoming concert featuring Trina and Yin Yang Twins on November the 9th. We also have on November the 5th, we have a gospel concert headlining that, the Alabama Girls. Nice inbound pass and the deuce there for Monty Court. So Monty Court with the deuce. Phillips with the turnaround shot is good. So Phillips with his third field goal on the afternoon, and Voorhees is down 20 to 10. And nice book, nice blast right here. As Efferitz on with the deuce. 11 minutes to go here in the first half. Voorhees down 22 to 10. Turnaround shot for Phillips in the lane. So Julius Phillips. The early leading score affair for the Tigers. Tigers down by 10, 22 to 10. And a nice interception there as Phillips gives it up down the court. And three-pointer on the way is no good for Johnson. Back the other way. The shot is up. They call the whistle. Count it. And the foul. Monchi Court. That is his second. And that stretches the Ave Maria lead out to 12 at 24 to 12. With 10 minutes and 17 seconds to go here in the first half. As Monchi Court completes the three-point play, it's 25 to 12. Ave Maria with the lead. Tigers trying to get back into this ball game. Phillips with the hot hand so far in the first half, and that one did not even hit the rim. Under 10 minutes to go here in this first half. And a chair of defense coming from the Tiger crowd. Three-pointer on the way, and it's good for Efforts. That's his first three-pointer. He has five points on the afternoon, and that stretches the Ave Maria lead out to 28-12. to 12. In the lane, new. Dethian Harris with the move inside. So they'll call the foul on Season. That is his first. And only the team's third foul. So Harris at the line shooting. Misses the first. From out of Gray, Georgia. Five foot ten. One of the talented freshmen that uh, Coach Williams recruited here for his first year 
at Voorhees as a head coach. Harris makes the second. So it's now 28 to 13 is our score. Ave Maria on top. Nine and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Three pointer on the way is good. Sisson, his first three pointer. And Ave Maria is on the run again, up 31 to 13, looking for more with numbers. The shot is up, no good. Rebound, put back is no good. Ave Maria with a third opportunity here. The shot in the lane gets the shooter's roll for Watkins. And Watkins with four points and is now a 20 point lead for Ave Maria at 33 to 13. Bounce pass inside. Looking for the big man. That's good. Great play for the deuce, as we'll have substitutions, wholesale substitutions for Ave Maria. And a three-point play is there. It's now 33 to 16. Voorhees down. It's Ave Maria on the attack. Stop at the baseline, cross court pass. Only three seconds left on the shot clock. Three pointer on the way is no good. But the rebound and put back is there for Cleekless. That is his third field goal of the afternoon. And the young man out of Elko, Nevada, Michael Kleeklis. But a three-pointer back the other way. As Wilson hits the three. And a foul was called against Ave Maria. So we have the timeout on the court. It is seven minutes and 44 seconds remaining. It is 35 to 19. Voorhees down. But still a lot of time remaining here in the first half. So they can cut into this 35 to 19 lead. Once again, thank you so very much for tuning in uh, to Voorhees University Tiger Basketball, the men's side, as they get their home regular season on the way. Of course, the Lady Tigers will be on the road for the early portions of the first half of the season, but their first home game will take place on November the 11th during homecoming. And of course, that will be a doubleheader with the – Lady Tigers at 1, then the Tigers at 3 o'clock. That last three-pointer by the Tigers had credit that uh, to... Uh, Bryce Wilson, but it was actually uh, Bryson, Amari Bryson, another talented player here on this Tiger squad. Two for two at the line goes Michael Klikas. 6'3 sophomore out of Nevada. And that stretches the Ave Maria lead now 37 to 19. Here's the three-pointer. Way is good. 
second three-pointer there for Amari Bryson. And a whistle down the other end on Ave Maria. Look like they'll call that on white. 37-22 is our score. Voorhees down, but now we have a foul against Voorhees. Durante Foster. Foster picks up his second. Seven minutes and 15 seconds to go. Already the Tigers with 18 fouls, but Ave Maria only with three team fouls. So Ave Maria could be shooting the double bonus early here in this first half. In the lane, no good. Good defense there by Phillips. Back the other way. Phillips thought about a three. Amari gives it up to Phillips. Phillips in the lane. Oh, nice pass, but a bit too strong there for Foster. And a turnover. So the Tigers trying to make a serious comeback here in the, the first half. Still, Ave Maria with the good start. And they lead 37-22. to 22. Three-pointer on the way, no good. Foster battling, and finally Phillips comes away with foul. Under six and a half minutes to go. Boy, he's trying to cut in on his 37-22 to 22 lead. No good in and out for Bryson. Oh, nice touch pass, but better defense as the travel is called. So White is called for the foul. Excuse me, not the foul, the uh, traveling violation. Here's a three-pointer on the way. Bryson, no good. Oh, that's a traveling violation. So Ave Maria will have the ball for five minutes and 46 seconds remaining here in the first half. Phillips thought about a three. Bryson, just beyond the free throw line, is no good. Under five and a half minutes to go. And we'll have a foul called against White. So Ja White picks up his second. Foster, ball knocks out of his hands and his last touch by Ave Maria. Five minutes and seven seconds remaining here in the first half, 37 to 22 is our score. Ave Maria on top of Voorhees. And that is a violation against the Tigers. Five second violation. Go inside. Drawing the foul was Poirier. So I wonder where the foul.
as also in for the Tigers, now out. Failed to mention was uh, Mikhail Murray, number 10. The second shot is good. Under five minutes to go. Three-pointer on the way. No good. Klikas on with the rebound. Three-pointer back the other way is no good. Phillips on with the rebound. Phillips back with a three. Good! So Phillips, that second three-pointer of the afternoon. And already Julius Phillips with 11 points on this afternoon, leading the Tiger attack as we have a timeout on the court. At one point, it was a 20-point lead for Ave Maria, but Voorhees able to cut it down to 13 at 38 to 25 with four minutes and 18 seconds to go. So the Tigers starting to wake up here on this afternoon matinee. Let's see if the Tigers can force some turnovers here and make it into points. <laughs> to the basket. Count it. Indeed, dear. A nice play for Watkins. Uh, excuse me, number 11, J.R. Season. Season with his third field goal of the afternoon. Already with eight points on the afternoon. And that stretches the Ave Maria lead out to 40 to 25 with four minutes and seven seconds to go. Little wet spot on the floor. So Ave Maria, some good competition to open up the home schedule for Voorhees at that shot. No good. Score remains 40 to 25. Four minutes to go here in this first half. Phillips, the hot hand of the first half. Go inside. Nice pass. The shot off glass is no good. Ave Maria comes with the rebound. Temporary with numbers, but the Tigers get back. Here's the shot. Season unable to hit. Here come the Tigers back the other way. Three-pointer is good. There for Harris. That is his first three-pointer. And the Tigers has already put up five three-pointers in as well have a foul the other way. No offensive foul. That will be a blocking foul called against Harris. That's his first. Forty to twenty-eight is our score. Ave Maria on top. Short on that is Watkins, the six-three sophomore out of Decatur, Texas. A nice hand going on to the bench 
for Harris. And into the game for the first time is Devin Dowell, another talented freshman for the Tigers. 41 to 28 is our score. That shot is up and no good, but off the hands of an Ave Maria player, Lasley. So Tigers will maintain possession. Wilson will throw it in along the baseline. A shot. Not there. And Ave Maria comes away with the rebound. Nice pass. Lasley in for two. That is his second bucket of the afternoon. And it's 43 to 28. Ave Maria on top under three minutes to go here in the first half. Here's Dowell. Gives it out. Bryson back over to Dow. Dow with the three-pointer. And no good. Ave Maria keeping the Tigers off the boards on the offensive end. Backing in down low. Shot in and out there for Watkins. Ave Maria with another opportunity. In low. Short and good. There by Monty Court. So that is points number six and seven uh, there for the young man, Miles Monty Court. And the near still there by Lastly, but he may be called for the foul. And he is called for the foul. That's his first. So now we have a full timeout here. Two minutes and eight seconds to go here in the first half. Ave Maria with the lead, 45-28. You are watching a Tiger basketball right here on our YouTube page and Facebook Live. Thanks for joining us. Coming out of the timeout, Tigers down to Ave Maria, 45-28. Tigers with possession. Foster back into the ball game. Here is Phillips. Phillips backing in down low. Nice play there by Julius Phillips. Phillips working on a 20-point afternoon. And right now, the leading scorers, leading all scorers here this afternoon so far. And Foster with a good defensive play. Back comes Phillips. Here come the Tigers on the attack. Clock stops with a minute 40 remaining. 15-point lead for Ave Maria, 45-30. to 30. So Phillips will be at the line. Sixteen points for Julius Phillips, the Philly, the Philly native. That one is short. Coming back the other way, three point on the way. It is good. Sisson with his second three pointer of the afternoon. He has nine points. And it's 48 to 31. Ave Maria looking for more. 
Oh, good pass. Watkins puts it in. And right now, Ave Maria is firing on all cylinders. A 19-point lead for Ave Maria is 50 to 31 with under a minute to go. Here, Foster for three. No good. Sisson on with their rebound. Not stopping ball. And the shot is up. No good. Ball goes out of bounds, and a Voorhees will have possession. With 40 seconds to go here in the first half, 50 to 31. Ave Maria, a strong first half here. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, they've been playing catch up. For the entire first half. Here's Phillips. No good. Under 20 seconds remaining. Phillips. No foul there. Shot put up. No good. Rebound by Foster and tapping. No good. Shot clock turned off. Only five seconds to go. Ave Maria working for the last shot. Here's Sisson for three. Short. And at the half, Voorhees goes down in halftime, 50 to 31. Ave Maria with the lead over Voorhees. Uh, what can you say about this first half? But good shooting for Ave Maria. Not only that, they winning the boards. Meanwhile, for Voorhees, they've been pretty good behind the three-point line, but they have been playing catch-up for practically the whole first half. And it's a 19-point lead for Ave Maria as they go into halftime. For the Voorhees Tigers, they will have to regroup here under first-year head coach James Williams and his debut here at home. The leading scorers, first off uh, for Voorhees, Julius Phillips with 16 points here in the first half, leading all scorers. Meanwhile, the leading scorer for Ave Maria right now is Sisson. J.R. Sisson with 11 points on the afternoon. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll have more of the halftime show. You are watching Tiger Basketball right here on Facebook and YouTube. 50 to 31 is our score. Boy, he's down. We'll be right back.
Hans Collins appreciates you all being here for being high and chief student athletes, and you are playing it with the cards. We thank you for your attention to the players who Let's give them all a hand. We're all playing West Chancellor.
Welcome back here at the Dawson Center on the campus of Voorhees University, our halftime score. Right now, the Voorhees Tigers is trying to dig themselves out of a 50 to 31 hole to Ave Maria. I'm Clarence Jones. Thank you so very much for joining us here for the home opener of the 2023-2024 season under new head coach James Williams. And right now, uh, for the Tigers, uh, they got to find some way to, uh, defensively speaking, get some turnovers, get some extra possessions here to try to cut in on this 19-point lead. Meanwhile, for Ave Maria, uh, all systems go right now as it's a nice little balance as they are going 10 deep here this afternoon with wholesale substitutions, and it has worked so far. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, the depth is not exactly as deep as Ave Maria this afternoon due to the fact that we have uh, key injuries. Uh, number one for uh, Tyler Willoughby, who was out uh, this afternoon with a thumb. And with Tyler being out, that means about 12 to 14 points is missing here for the Tigers this afternoon, so somebody have to pick up the slack. And so far, it's Julius Phillips who's picking up the slack with 16 points in the first half. But he needs help from his Tiger players, his Tiger teammates. They need to pick up the slack as far as points go. And meanwhile, defensively speaking, they have to get some defensive rebounds and get some extra possessions here to try to cut the lead down. It's still a lot of time as far as in the second half. So a 19 point lead is not insurmountable, but at the same time, they have to get going here and chop the lead down every four minutes. Meanwhile, for Ave Maria, Ave Maria has been on attack. They lead in the rebound department. And not only that, second chance points has been there for Ave Maria. Let's see if they can keep that up here this afternoon. Meanwhile, for the Tigers, let's see if they can go ahead and limit Ave Maria with possessions and at the same time get extra possessions by turning the ball over or forcing the turnover for Ave Maria. It should be a good second half. I know this Tiger team, they're a talented squad, although they're not at 100% right now. And uh, that's because of uh, some reasons. Some uh, players are not eligible right now to play. And plus you have a little injury bug going on for the Tigers. But it doesn't matter. When it comes to the bright lights, you got to put on, you got to perform. And right now, the Tigers need to cut in on this 19-point lead at 50 to 31. And we should have a good second half. Meanwhile, I'd like to give a shout out for everybody that are watching us right now on Facebook Live and also on YouTube. You can get in on the conversation. Let us know where you're watching the game from. Are you rooting for the Tigers? Or are you rooting for Ave Maria? And we have the second half coming up. So stay with us for more Tiger basketball on YouTube and on our Facebook Live.
And speaking about defense, there is a turnover back the other way. No good, but the easy follow in there for Fleischner. That's Fifty-four to thirty, thirty-five is our score. Yeah, it's a shot up, there's no good. Ave Maria comes away with the rebound. Back the other way, wide open down low, and a block from behind by Wilson, but they'll call the foul. So Wilson picks up the foul. That is foul number four for Wilson. As I'm looking at the scoreboard, all right. Hopefully, we have the uh, sound situation in hand now. As first shot is good uh, there for White. Second shot. And a rebound. Put back is good. There for Cleekless. And it's 57-35. Ave Maria opens up their biggest lead of the afternoon. Three-pointer on the way. Shot is no good for Bryson. Ball goes out of bounds, and Ave Maria will have possession. Sixteen minutes and thirty-nine seconds to go here in the second half. Yes, Casey Johnson, they have to box out. Try to limit these second chance points here for Ave Maria. And it's still here by the Tigers. Coming back up the court is Wilson. Foster. Foster step back shot. That is way short. Up the court it goes. Shot no good, but another opportunity. And for White, it's good. 59 35, under 16 minutes to play here in this second half. Phillips gives it out. And that is a big three pointer there for Johnson. So Alonzo Johnson hits the three pointer. But boy, he's still down by a bunch. That shot no good. Phillips on with the rebound. 59-38 is our score. Under 15 and a half minutes to go. And a good move. Nice play. And it's a 59-40 game. Boy, he's down, but not out. But they can't have those type of baskets up close to go in. Cleekless, leading scorer for Ave Maria right now. 14 points on the afternoon for Cleekless. And it's a 21 point lead for Ave Maria at 61 to 40 as a foul is called. As Alonzo Johnson. Draws the foul. So we have a timeout on the court with 14 minutes and 45 seconds to go. Right now, Voorhees in a 21 point hole, losing 61 to 40 with 14 minutes and 45 seconds to go here in the second half. 
And right now, the Tigers, once again, as I mentioned during the halftime report, that they need to limit the second chance buckets for Ave Maria, and it has not come to fruition yet. Meanwhile, for Voorhees, they're doing pretty good behind the three-point line, but the only problem is they are still down by 20-plus points. Right now, the Tigers, with 14 minutes and 45 seconds to go, still a lot of time to come back from this 21-point lead. But one thing they cannot do is get into a shooting contest with Ave Maria because right now the Tigers want Ave Maria to go cold from the field for about a good seven, eight minutes. But the way how Ave Maria have been playing here this afternoon, I don't see this team going cold for an extended period of time here this afternoon. But the Tigers' defense, if they crank it up a notch here, they can definitely force Ave Maria into some tough shots. And another important thing, Tigers must hit their free throws as Alonzo Johnson is at the line right now. Johnson hits the first. Two for two at the line for the young man. Alonzo Johnson with uh, two points. It is a 19-point Ave Maria lead. 61-42, 14 and a half minutes to go here in the second half. Challenging on the down low. A shot from up range is no good. Tigers come away with it. Tigers need some points to come on the board here. Johnson thought about a three. Now gives it off. Nice pass. Uh, we have a whistle and a traveling violation is called. So traveling violation. It's 61 to 42. Ave Maria with the lead. Whips it across, and that is a traveling violation called on season. 14 minutes exactly remaining here in the second half. Tigers trying to dig out of this 19-point hole down 61 to 42. Cross-court pass. Here's Phillips for three. Got it! Julius Phillips. He hits his third three-pointer of the afternoon, and he's keeping his team in it. Still a lot of time left, 61 to 45 is our score. Boy, he's down to Ave Maria. Efforts, stops, kicks it out in the corner. Tip, and a steal there by Phillips. Tiger defense turning it on here. Let's see if they can score some points. That would have been an and one there for Harris, but instead, he should be at the line shooting three. The clock stops with 61, uh, excuse me, with 13 minutes and 17 seconds to go, 61 to 45. And Ethan Harris will be at the line shooting three. As we have some, well, we're about to have some substitutions, but Phillips, Phillips is about to go onto the bench, and uh, uh, coming in for Phillips uh, will be Bryce Wilson. Harris hits the first of three. Harris with seven points so far this afternoon. Make it eight. Make sure you join us for homecoming Saturday, November the 11th. We'll have a doubleheader starting with the women's game at 1, followed by the men's game at 3. Harris, good on all three. It is now 61 to 48 as we're coming up on the 13-minute mark left in the game. Let's see if the Tigers can cause another turnover here. 
Harris playing some good defense. And a whistle. And it looked like they'll call this on Harris. So Harris picks up the foul. That's his second. And he will sit out. Julius Phillips checks back in. Phillips, the leading scorer for the Tigers here this afternoon. Step back three pointer. Good. Efforts. That is his second three pointer of the afternoon. Back the other way. That one is short for Phillips. It comes Ave Maria on the attack. The shot up, no good. And there for Miles. Short range jump shot, no good. Rebound, and it's poked away and into the hands of Efforts. Oh, nice give and go. Efforts. Back to back. Field goes there for Jonathan Efforts. And it is back out to an 18 point Ave Maria lead at 66 to 48, under 12 minutes to go here in the ball game. Here's the shot just inside the three point line. It's no good there for Alonzo. That's a traveling violation. So 11 minutes and 39 seconds to go. We have a timeout on the court. Timeout on the court, 11 minutes and 39 seconds to go here in the ball game. Ave Maria has led all the way. And right now they have an 18 point lead at 66 to 48 over the Voorhees Tigers. At least the Tigers are showing some more, some more excitement here and they play, especially on the defensive side, but still Ave Maria able to find some holes on the defensive side for the Tigers. You're watching Tiger basketball right here on YouTube and Facebook Live. Thank you for everybody that's been tuning in and also those of you who are also commenting in our comment sections. Thank you so very much for the participation in our comment section here this afternoon. All right, coming out of the timeout, Tigers will have possession down 66 to 48. 11 minutes, 39 seconds, and counting for the Tigers to try to come back into this ball game. Oh, nice pass, but off of the leg of Wilson. Probably a little bit too low for Bryce. Sixty six to forty eight for those of you just tuning in. Ave Maria with the lead and with possession. Oh, that one looked like it was partially blocked there. Oh, and another opportunity, no walking. So the officials didn't believe uh, that Watkins walked. There is a near turnover. Let's see. Look like it will remain with Voyes. Once again, thank you for all of you tuning in and as well commenting in our comment section, whether it be on YouTube or on Facebook Live. Phillips, too strong off the board. Outlet pass. That's a touchdown there for Monchi Court. It's back to a 20-point Ave Maria lead, looking for more. Almost coming up with the steal was efforts. Just beyond the free throw line is good there for Wilson. 
So Bryce now with five points on the afternoon, and it's an 18-point lead. The shot put up, no good. Tigers come away with the rebound. Tigers looking to push. No call. Here's Bryce. Gives it up. Wide open. Three-pointer. Fleeshin. Good. Keyshawn Fleeshin with his first three-pointer of the afternoon. And it's down to a 68-53 Ave Maria lead under 10 minutes to go. Let's see if the defense could cause another turnover. That's a foul. Oh, no. Traveling violation. So the Tigers forcing the defense there and the turnover. 68-53. Phillips open. Three-pointer. No good. Under nine and a half minutes to go. Three-pointer straight away. And it is no good. Fleishan on with the rebound. Tigers looking to cut into this lead. Fleishan thought about a three. Now gives it up to Phillips. Phillips with a height advantage and weight advantage. He takes advantage of it and puts it in for two. Coming up on nine minutes to go. 68 to 55. Boy, he's inching closer, and a crowd silencer for Sisson. And it's 70 to 55, it's back out to a 15 point Ave Maria lead. Bryce goes for three, cannot hit. Oh, the bump, count it. And one for Jonathan Efforts. So that is a and one. That will stretch the Ave Maria lead out. As we look into the comment section, yes, uh, yes, Zay, Zay Bradford. Oh, yes. Julius came to play today. He is the leading scorer so far for the Tigers, working on a 20-point game this afternoon. That one is short. Seventy-two to fifty-five is our score. Ball goes out of bounds. It will remain with the Tigers. Eight minutes and 23 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Tigers down 72 to 55. Two three zone defense here by Ave Maria. Fleeshin for three. Just short. 72-55, eight minutes to go here in the ball game. Fleeshin trying to, and gets the rip. Fleeshin takes it in all the way. Good defensive play by Keyshawn Fleeshin. 72-57, Ave Maria still in the lead, but Tigers trying to claw back here. Coming up on seven and a half minutes to go here in the ball game. 72-57, Voorhees down. Cross-court pass, thought about a three. Now kicks it out. Fakes to the three, takes the two from just beyond the free throw line. Is good for Poirier. Seventy-four, fifty-seven, seven minutes and ten seconds to go. Boy, he's down. And that is a reach-in foul uh, called against White. So Jalen White picks up the foul. And we have a timeout on the court. So seven minutes and seven seconds to go in the ball game. Ave Maria with the lead, 74 to 57. But the Tigers, they have at least one good run left in them. But for Ave Maria, they 
are hitting some clutch jump shots to keep the Tigers at bay. Meanwhile, the Tigers, they got to force some turnovers here and play some strong defense coming down the stretch. Just a reminder, coming up November the 11th, we have a doubleheader basketball game for you. It is homecoming 2023, celebrating homecoming the right way with some events throughout the week. Homecoming starts November the 5th, and they'll go through the 11th. On the 5th, we have a gospel extravaganza with the headlining act, the Alabama Girls. November the 9th, we have the homecoming hip-hop concert featuring Trina and Yin Yang Twins. And then on Friday, we have the Hall of Fame ceremony inducting a handful of new Hall of Famers in the U University of Hall of Fame. And then later on that night, we have the Hall of Fame concert featuring Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell. To get your tickets, log on to voorhees.edu backslash homecoming. Here's a three-pointer on the way. It's good. There for Bryson. Omari Bryson, that is his third three-pointer of the afternoon. It's down to a 14-point Ave Maria lead. Here's White. Pass inside. Good, strong move for Cleekless. Back out to a 16-point Ave Maria lead and a steal. Tigers trying to steal it back. Phillips. Look like uh, they'll call the foul. So Julius Phillips is called for the foul. That is his second personal foul. Right now, as far as team fouls go, both teams with five team fouls apiece. So this is a difference from what we've seen in the first half, where at this time during the first half, the Tigers already had about nine, close to ten team fouls. And Ave Maria was shooting the double bonus early back in the first half. Right now, a much better played half here for Voorhees as far as foul situations are concerned. Nice pass. Wilson. Bryce now with seven points on the afternoon and it's 76-62. Oh, and they'll call a foul on Bryce. Crowd can't believe it here. But Wilson does pick up the foul. And that is Bryce's fourth personal foul. They clean up some of the wet spots here. Even the Ave Maria coach giving a hand, cleaning up the wet spot. Six minutes to go. Here in uh, the ball game, 76 for Ave Maria, 62 for Voorhees. Also want to wish everybody a happy Halloween coming up this Tuesday. For the trick-or-treaters out there, both young and old. It's been a warm day here this afternoon uh, in Denmark. So a little bit more perspiration on the court as off the leg, and it will belong to Voorhees. As Jalen White dribbles it right off his leg. Under six minutes to go, Tigers got to push it here. Now 76 to 62. Fleeshin. From the right baseline, no good. Ave Maria limiting the Tigers' possession to only one shot. 
Bounce pass inside, put up, good. And the foul to the other white, Jai White, from out of New Orleans. And Jai, seven points on the afternoon so far. And it's back out to a more comfortable lead now for Ave Maria with five minutes and 26 seconds to go. 78 to 62. White completes the three-point play. Nine points for Jai White, Jai White here this afternoon. 79-62. Voorhees trying to get back in it. And that shot is no good. Back come Ave Maria. Falling on the floor and battling for the loose ball. No call. And finally, we have a whistle. Four minutes and 55 seconds to go. And another timeout on the court as they have to wipe up uh, some of the preparation off the floor. Tigers will have possession. Once again, thank you for everybody uh, tuning in on our YouTube page and also Facebook Live and commenting all this afternoon. We do appreciate everybody's comments. Please like and subscribe our YouTube page at Voorhees University Athletics. And also, please follow us on Facebook at Voorhees University. Four minutes and 55 seconds to go here in the ball game. Ave Maria has been solid as a team shooting from the line this afternoon as Nick Fleischner hits the first. Eighty to sixty-two is our score with four minutes and fifty-five seconds to go. Nick hits the second. And right now it's eighty-one to sixty-two. Back out to a 19-point lead for Ave Maria. Under five minutes to go. And a good defense there as Fleischner picks it off. Kleekless will complete it down on the other end. And the Jireens are on top now by 21 at 83 to 62. Three-pointer there is good. Alonzo Johnson, that's his second three-pointer of the afternoon. A 19-point Ave Maria lead. That shot is good. And Cleekless with another deuce. And it's now a 20-point lead for Ave Maria. Johnson unable to hit. Foster with the rebound. Foster loses it. And then White, Jai White, loses the ball out of bounds. All right, so we have another whistle as we have an injured uh, Tiger on the floor at the end of the Tiger bench. Could be a cramping situation. Can't see the uh, the number right now as uh, several players blocking that area. As we head back into the comment section, thank you so very much. What's going on, Mr. Smoot? Also, Carlista Patrick rooting for Voorhees. 
Just a reminder, homecoming coming up November the 5th through the 11th. Let me get a thumbs up in the comment section if you're coming to homecoming here. So right now, as we look at this 85 to 65, for those of you just joining us, Ave Maria has never trailed here in this ball game. Their biggest lead, the whole game was 21. Right now, they lead by 20. So every time the Tigers make a little run, Ave Maria always had an answer for. Going back into the comment section. And to answer your question, Smooth, they never did move to the other side. Camera tricks, sir. Camera tricks. So we have some new angles here this season that we are trying out as far as the camera side. So we can give more shots of the student section there for Voorhees. So from time to time. You may think uh, things are a little bit backwards, but no, uh, the men are still on that side of the court that they always been at. So let us know in the comments section if you like the new camera angles, as that shot is up and no good. Also, too, got to give a shout out to the Voorhees University students that are shooting the basketball games here this afternoon. Mitchell Lee at the line. That's the first point of the afternoon for Mitchell Lee, the 6'3 sophomore out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Ave Maria matches their biggest lead of the afternoon at 21 at 86 to 65. 315 remaining here in the ball game. Phillips, the leading scorer for the Tigers, loses possession, but gets it right back. Gives it to Foster. Foster too high off the glass. The rebound put back is no good. And Mitchell Lee Runs it down for Ave Maria. Three-pointer wide open. No good. Here comes Harris. Harris. Here's Bryce. Swing the pass back over to Harris. Harris puts up a three. In and out. So it... We have a timeout on the court. Ave Maria, 86 to 65 is our score. Two minutes and 34 seconds to go. As we look back into the comment section, and I agree with you, Mr. Smoot, please be sure to join your local, national, and pre-alumni chapters calling all Voorhees alumni. Please join up. Look for your local, your national, and the pre-alumni chapters as Foster comes away with the rebound. And we look forward to seeing all alumni coming up for the homecoming. Two minutes to go here in the ball game. Ave Maria, which never trailed, up by 21, make it 24. Mitchell Lee. His first three-pointer of the afternoon, and it's 89 to 65. Ave Maria comfortably in the lead. Long three-pointer on the way is good for Harris. So Harris, his second three-pointer of the afternoon. 12 points on the afternoon for Harris. Under a minute and a half remaining, Ave Maria 
with the lead. Three-pointer on the way is no good. Phillips, as we have a whistle, timeout taken by the Tigers. So the Tigers open up with a strong opponent this afternoon for their home schedule, Ave Maria. Ave Maria coming out of the state of Florida. And they have been more than a worthy opponent. They have been a uh, Great here this afternoon, especially shooting from the line and defensive plays just like that, forcing another turnover. They do not call the travel as Watkins puts it up and in. Inside. Oh, up close. No good. Ball goes out of bounds with 39.3 seconds to go. And Ave Maria is on their way to a victory here this afternoon. Cracking the 90-point mark at 91 to 68. Tigers will go back to the drawing board. Meanwhile, Ave Maria will celebrate going back home. That shot is up and no good. Shot clock is turned off. Ave Maria does not have to put up another shot, and they will not, so they will just dribble it out. 91 to 68 will be our final score. Tigers goes down to defeat here this afternoon. Make sure you join us for homecoming November the 11th as we'll have a doubleheader. I appreciate everybody uh, for tuning in, but stay tuned. We'll have the post-game show, and we'll have an interview with the head coach, James Williams, coming up to talk about this game. Uh, going back into the comment section, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, especially uh, our road team fan base, Ave Maria. Thank you so very much uh, for tuning in. We appreciate you. And also, Tiger Nation, as always, unfortunately, cannot come away with the victory here this afternoon, but Ave Maria played a well of a game from the opening tip to the final whistle. Final score, once again, the Gyrenes 91, Tigers 68. Again, appreciate everybody for commenting, and thank you for joining us, but stay tuned now. We'll have the post-game show coming up. So... For you Tiger fans, you can stay with us. And for the Ave Maria fans, thank you so very much for tuning in. If you want to continue watching us, we'll have the post-game show. But once again, Tigers with a 91-68 loss. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, for the post-game show. Stay with us. You're watching Tiger Basketball on YouTube and on Facebook Live.
Welcome back here to the Dawson Center on the campus of Voorhees University. I'm Clarence Jones, and uh, you witness here this afternoon uh, the Tigers in a loss here as uh, Ave Maria, the Jirenes, put up 91 points uh, versus Voorhees University, 68 points. So Ave Maria, who was hot from the tip off and now until now to the final whistle, uh, they did not let up and they went ahead and went on with a big victory here this afternoon, spoiling the home debut of the first year head coach for the Tigers, Coach James Williams. Uh, in this game here uh, for the Tigers, of course, they missed the talents of uh, Tyler Willoughby and also Hector Rosario. They could have used that duo who both could put up double points. Uh, but we'll, I don't know if Ave Maria uh i would say this for Voorhees university uh it was a nice effort but ave maria just came out and they was hot from the field and not only that defensively speaking limiting uh the tigers and only one shot on the offensive end meanwhile for ave maria uh they made good on second and third chances at a bucket and that really was the headline of the story uh when you look at this game ave maria uh, with good defense, forcing uh, the Tigers into some turnovers and making uh, transition points. And not only that, uh, they had some clutch shooting. They didn't hit too many threes here this afternoon for Ave Maria, uh, not as many as the Tigers hit this afternoon. But unfortunately, the Tigers did uh, did do pretty well behind the three-point line, but still coming up short, uh, losing by the final score of 91 to 68. But again, if you want to look to anything, uh, it was Ave Maria and that pressure defense and forcing some turnovers. And then not only that, there were times where the Tigers went cold, uh, both in the first and the second half. But you have to give it up for the Tigers. Uh, they tried to get back into this ball game at one point. Uh, they were down by 21 points, but they was able to cut the lead to about 12 points, but that's when Ave Maria took over in the second half and they did not let up. Uh, the Jirenes, you have to give them uh, their credit. Uh, they did a marvelous job here this afternoon team-wise. Klee Kliss uh, finished off as the leading scorer for everybody with uh, 20 points. He was, of course, the leading scorer for Ave Maria. Meanwhile, for the Voorhees Tigers, in the absence of Tyler Willoughby and Hector Rosario, Julius Phillips picked up the slack uh, scoring 19 points, uh, but 16 of those points was in the first half. Uh, he went rather quiet in the second half, only scoring three points. Uh, meanwhile, uh, for the Tigers, uh, now it's just time to go back to the drawing board to see uh, how they can fix things up. Of course, this is still a new bunch where you have a mixture of uh, freshmen and first year transfers coming in and they're mixing in with the veteran squad. But unfortunately, two of our veterans uh, could not play this afternoon. So we'll see moving forward. Hopefully uh, that Coach Williams will have his full squad with him by homecoming. But we will see. But either way, uh, it's all hands on deck for uh, Voorhees Tigers uh, because it doesn't matter uh, whether it's injuries or whether it's eligibility issues. The Tigers still must perform here out on the court and the opponents uh, they're going to give it all they got, and the Tigers, they will just have to uh, roll with it, and hopefully uh, they'll learn from this loss. They'll go back to the drawing board, um, make their corrections, and come out again and uh, make a good effort here uh, for, for Coach Williams and this Tiger basketball squad. This Tiger basketball squad, if fully healthy and when they get all their players back, it is a deep squad. Is it a talent? It is a talented squad, and it's a squad that seven, eight, nine players deep could potentially go into the double figures, and about six of them can also grab close to eight, nine, even ten rebounds. Uh, so this is a very talented squad for the Voorhees University Tigers. They just have to put it all together uh, here. But we will see uh, coming up. Uh, for homecoming. That will be our next broadcast on November the 11th. We'll have a our first doubleheader of the 2023-2024 season uh, when it's uh, homecoming. The Lady Tigers 
uh, will tip it off at one o'clock, followed by the men's at three o'clock. So make sure it is going to be a festive atmosphere. And of course, uh, Tiger Nation that are watching us right now, hopefully that you will join us live here on campus uh, for uh, homecoming 2023, celebrating the right way. Of course, uh, we're waiting on uh, the head coach, Coach uh, James Williams, to come out and he'll spend a few moments with us here during the post game show to talk about uh, the game here this afternoon, which uh, they come up short here, 91 to 68 to Ave Maria, a very good uh, Ave Maria team. And it seems like they're going to be a good squad to be reckoned with for the rest of the season. The way how they played here this afternoon, uh, Ave Maria fans should have something to share about here uh, this year. Meanwhile, for Tiger Nation, of course, once again, the Tigers come in shorthanded here this afternoon, uh, but they try to give it their good effort, but they come up short, 91 to 68. Julius Phillips, once again, is the leading scorer uh, with 19 points for the Tigers. Cleekless led everybody uh, with 20 points. Uh, Harris uh, for the Tigers, a, a new fella here to the Tiger program, uh, poured in with 12 points, including a couple of three-pointers. Meanwhile, as far as with the Tigers, shooting from behind the three-point line uh, was pretty decent here this afternoon. But again, with these uh, three-pointers knocking down, a lot of the times they had to play catch-up uh, to this Jairin's uh, team, which I think ultimately with two big runs, one in the first half uh, to – end the first half, and then one in the second half where the Tigers went cold, and uh, Ave Maria took advantage of that and ultimately came out with the victory here this afternoon, 91-68. to 68. Once again, thank you so very much for those of you uh, tuning in on our YouTube page and also Facebook Live. Uh, once again, waiting on the head coach uh, for the Tigers, Coach James Williams, uh, to talk about the game here this afternoon. Um, uh, while we wait on him, I uh, want to appreciate everybody for commenting here in the comments in section. Uh, we couldn't do it without you folks uh, watching us. And also, I could not have done it uh, without the awesome uh, camera crew behind the scenes, uh, both uh, the Voorhees students and also some of the staff members. And of course, the executive producer, uh, Curtis Sumner, uh, back from his little vacation. So thank you uh, so very much for everybody uh, for tuning in. Um, we'll see if we have the uh, head coach uh, coming to join us for a couple of minutes. But uh, if not, we'll probably just uh, sign off uh, from right here. I know he wants to uh, talk to his team uh, about this uh, loss uh, this afternoon. Uh, but once again, uh, for the Tigers, uh, defensively speaking, They've got out rebounded on uh, both ends, and that limits them to the attempts from the field. Meanwhile, for Ave Maria, uh, another big reason why that they won was they had second and third chances at the basket on the offensive end, and then limiting the Tigers uh, on the defensive end to only just one shot. So right now we have uh, Coach Williams getting ready to join us, as I can uh, see right here, as he will. He is coming up in just a few moments to talk about this game between Ave Maria and the Voorhees Tigers uh, in this home opener of the 2023-2024 uh, regular season. As well, we are waiting on him. Of course, 91 to 68 is the uh, final score as the uh, Tigers will now concentrate on their next game. They hit the road for a couple of more games before they come back here uh, to the Tigers then and will have their annual homecoming event. And speaking about homecoming, make sure uh, that you get your tickets right now as you can log on to voorhees.edu backslash homecoming to look at all the events coming up. Uh, there is a price and there's also you can also use a QC code as well. Uh, so for all the details, just make sure that you log on to voorhees.edu backslash homecoming for everything. OK, so so now we have uh, coach. We won't, we won't need this mic right here. Yeah, that mic. Is, uh, so right now, um, coach. Uh, Tough loss here, but Ave Maria, a pretty decent team. Want to get your thoughts about this game? Uh, hats off. 
uh, to to coach to to Ave Maria. Like uh, they played and executed their game plan, whatever it was. I thought they did a good job of executing their game plan. Uh, we had some things that we knew that they were going to do, and they did them. Uh, we got to get better. You know, there's some things that we're going to work on. I was extremely honest with the guys in the post game. Uh, there wasn't anything that we didn't know that they were going to do, but they just executed. And in this game, man, execution. Uh, but it's early, and I'm encouraged by some of the things we did during the game. We'll go back and we'll break down the film, and we'll get back to it on Monday. Uh, coming out of this game, what did you see? It's a two-part question. What did you see positive that you could go looking for? It, and what are some of the things you think that this team needs to work on? Uh, I thought we executed better offensively than we did our first game. Uh, and then defensively, we had some, some we had some stops. We, we had some opportunities. Uh, we got to be smarter. You know, uh, I'm very big on IQ, basketball IQ. We got to be a smarter basketball team. Uh, some of the things we got to work on, we'll continue to work on boxing out. Uh, and then transition transition defense, that's always that's a staple of our practice. We'll actually include that more now. You know, I think these early games, they expose us a little bit as far as uh, what we need to continue to work on. And, and it's me. You know, I take full responsibility. There's some things that we're going to um, add back to our maybe our practice plan uh, coming on Monday. Uh, but but our, my guys play hard. They, they didn't stop playing, you know. And we just we, we hit waves and then we just we hit a wall. So now I got to help push them through that wall. Now, of course, uh, coming into the game, uh, you wasn't at full squad potential here. Uh, so just moving forward, uh, how is the, the roster going as moving forward right now? Will we have our full complement of players by homecoming or are we still uh, looking to see them down the road? Uh, first of all, I make no excuses. You know, the guys that we have on the roster today were the guys that I have full confidence in. Confidence in. Uh, but, yeah, we still have some guys that are out, some due to injury, some due to eligibility. We're working on that. That's a continual process. Next week, we'll we'll talk, you know, put some things through. Uh, I will give a shout out to our administration, uh, our dean of students, uh, and our athletic director. They don't play, you know, and you got to have all your ducks in a row. And I appreciate that. I'd rather do things the right way, you know, and not get caught up later. So we have some guys that will be coming back next week. And so we'll get some help. Uh, we have some guys who had to finish their eligibility with NAIA that we're going to get, you know, that we will get back. Uh, it's just a matter of going through the process. But I thank my, my AD and our dean of students, uh, Ms. Charlene Johnson and uh, Dean Hill. I thank them a lot because they're teaching me, uh, you know, do things the right way regardless of the outcome. So uh, we'll be full strength by time homecoming. Sorry. Now, uh, one thing uh, for Tiger Nation, for those who don't know uh, about too much about you, uh, you are, uh, of course, you're the new coach, but still you are used to here in, in Tiger Nation. But what can you say to the Tiger Nation fans, especially those who are watching and coming into a uh, homecoming in a couple of weeks? What can you tell the fans about what can you expect this season? Uh, I'll tell you what our motto is. Our motto is stick together. So through the ups and downs, just like, you know, Elizabeth, you know, when she started to start this school, when she was setting out, there was some there was some trying moments. And it's early. It's a marathon. You know, we're still going to be able to accomplish our goal, which is a conference championship, uh, which is to win 20 games. That still is in play. All our goals and our, our everything we want to attain. Uh, again, I don't want to use the excuse of being at full strength or not at full strength. It's my job to get us better. You know, so the only thing that I'll say is just stick together. Stay with these guys. Encourage these guys. Uh, the product you see on the floor is not the product you're going to see at the end. Uh, in my in my three, three and a half, four seasons here, We've gotten better game after game, you know, and we've pulled out some victories that we may have shouldn't have. And we lost some teams. That's just basketball in nature. Uh, but I'm encouraged by this group. And uh, we actually had a, a recruit on campus today and he was encouraged by this group. Um, so people be encouraged. Be encouraged. That's what I'm going to say. And then stick together. Stick together. That's our motto. And that's what we're going to stick by. And then not only that, you still have a kind of a young team. You got to mix in some of the freshmen and the first year transfers as well. So I believe that this team will pull through because they are very talented. They're deep and talented once everybody is together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got like four four bodies that we actually don't have. You know, I pulled out a roster of 12 today, and two of them went down. One had to go to the hospital. We're praying for you, Isaiah. Uh, cramps, you know, just just bodies. Sometimes it's having bodies. And so, uh, like I said, we'll get better, man. Uh, my head's not down. You know, uh, I got to plow through. You know, it's preparation always for me. Anybody who knows me know I'm going to figure this out. We're going to make adjustments. We're going to tweak things. Uh, we're going to get back to work Monday. But that's just, you know, the nature of this business. So, 
Well, Coach, thank you so very much for spending part of your time with us. Of course, unfortunately, we couldn't come up with the victory today, but I know uh, this team will pull through and come back and have a better uh, effort in the next game. No problem, man. I'm going to the uh, website to read those comments, too, so I'm going <laughs> to see what y'all people be saying. I do read comments, man. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Uh, hey, Sumner, hand me my pictures. <laughs> thank you, Coach. Appreciate that. All right, that was Coach James Williams here. Uh, he is a very optimistic coach, and again, you should be, a uh, Tiger fan, should be optimistic about the future of uh, this basketball program. And I think under uh, his uh, tutelage, uh, this team is going into the right places. Have some patience, uh, but I believe that this Tiger team is going into the right uh, direction. Well, that'll do it here uh, from the Dawson Center on the campus of Voorhees University. like to thank uh, everybody behind the scenes, the camera, Dominique, uh, Thank you so very much. One of our students, of course, Curtis Sumner, uh, the executive producer, Joshua Brown as well uh, behind the cameras. And we want to thank you for those of you tuning in on our YouTube page and also our Facebook live page. And make sure that you like and subscribe our YouTube page at Voorhees University Athletics and also follow us on Facebook at Voorhees University. Now we will have our next game, homecoming, November the 11th. Tune in right here, starting with the women's game at 1 o'clock, followed by the men's game at 3 o'clock. That is homecoming Saturday, November the 11th. But for now, thank you for everybody. I'm Clarence Jones. Thank you for tuning in to Tiger Basketball. And we will talk to you on homecoming Saturday, November the 11th. But for now, have a good rest of your weekend and a wonderful Saturday. So long, everybody.